Yo, what's going on? Mike from Mike Talk Sports. So the Dallas Mavericks have been without Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving recently. Christian Wood and other key role players have stepped up for this team and played really well. They just had that thriller overtime game against the Spurs, defeating the Spurs. Let me tell you guys why Christian Wood is key to a deep run in the playoffs for the Dallas Mavericks. Christian Wood went undrafted in 2015. To me, he has a very interesting story, kind of bounced around the league. And then in 2018, 2019 NBA season, Anthony Davis wanted out of the New Orleans Pelicans. So the New Orleans Pelicans kind of said, screw AD, he's not going to play anymore. Not like he wanted to play anyway, but he sat out and Christian Wood really stepped up in the absence of Anthony Davis, played extremely well, played well enough to have a nice contract with the Pistons, played pretty well on the Pistons, then went to the Rockets where he played really well for two seasons on the Rockets. And now this is his first year on the Dallas Mavericks. He's always been an extremely efficient player. This season, he's averaging 17.3 points per game on 36.8% from three, 52% from the field, 61% from two. These are all league average, if not higher. This field goal percentage, very good. His field goal percentage from three is about league average. And this is his worst year in about three or four years in shooting the three. And it's because it is on a higher volume. So to me, Christian Wood is still a very good three-point shooter. He's averaging 6.4 rebounds a game in 26 minutes a game. So I really expect Christian Wood come playoff time. That 26 minutes per game, it's going to turn into 36 minutes per game. Let's be honest here. They're going to need him down the stretch, a key player for them. Now he's been kind of in and out of the lineup starting. He's had 57 games this year. In in 57 games, he started 17 games. To me, it doesn't really matter if he ends up starting in this playoff lineup or not. It just matters that he's going to be in the finishing lineup, which he for sure is. He is the third best player on the Dallas Mavericks. Make no mistake about that. But really getting into this Dallas Mavericks team who's desperately holding on to a playoff spot and getting into why I think the Dallas Mavericks specifically need their third best player, Christian Wood, to step up among all the other teams really battling for this playoff spot. Let's compare them to a team like the Warriors and the Lakers, for example. The Lakers, for example. They have a guy, D'Angelo Russell. Let's say D'Angelo Russell doesn't play well. You can have a guy like Rui Hachimura step up and have a very efficient night for you. You can have a guy like Malik Beasley score 30 points because he's just on fire from three. You look at the Warriors, for example. Their two best players are still Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. Let's say Jordan Poole doesn't step up, then you can have a big game from Andrew Wiggins. And while on paper, this can be the case for the Dallas Mavericks, to me, they don't have that clear cut three, four, five, six guy. They don't have that depth after the Kyrie Irving trade, trading Dorian Finney-Smith, trading Spencer Dinwiddie, it becomes even more vital for a guy like Christian Wood to really step up into his role. So projecting this team into the playoffs, and again, why I think Christian Wood is so vital to this team's success down the stretch to get into the playoffs and to have success in the playoffs. First off, you have Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic, you have zero worries whatsoever from a front office perspective, from a coaching perspective, that this guy is going to ball out in the playoffs. He's proven to already be one of the most clutch players in all of the NBA. His NBA playoff highlight reel is that of a 15-year veteran already. It's absolutely insane. Some of the playoff series he's had against the Clippers, obviously last year in that insane series against the Suns, Luka Doncic is certified baller in the playoffs. Playoffs. We don't have to worry about him. Now, Kyrie Irving's a very interesting case. Theoretically, on paper, if you want to win, you can't worry about Kyrie Irving either, right? If Kyrie Irving ends up playing bad in the playoffs, it's kind of an, oh, well, we tried our hardest as the front office because if he doesn't play well, this team's not winning. This team's not going to win a playoff series. This team isn't going to go multiple rounds in the playoffs because contrary to teams in the past with Luka Doncic, this team doesn't have depth. So if Kyrie Irving doesn't play well, then this team's playoff chances are over. And I think it's a very interesting conversation because of course, Kyrie Irving was incredible for the Cavaliers in the the playoffs. He was really good in that first playoff run. Of course, he got injured and didn't really play in the finals. He got injured in game one of those finals. The next year, obviously 2016, he had that iconic shot. Just an incredible playoff series. And then the playoff series after, the year after in 2017, 
they actually play better than 2016. I do hold to this day. I think the 2017 Cavs beat the 2016 Cavs, even though the 2016 Cavs won the championship that year. Kyrie Irving balled out in the playoffs again next year with Kyrie Irving, missed the playoffs. The year after, he was atrocious in the playoffs for the Celtics against the Bucks. He shot something like 36% from the field, absolutely shot them out of the playoffs. And then you flash forward to last year, Kyrie Irving, he didn't play horrible, but he did not play good for the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Boston Celtics. So Kyrie Irving has a very checkered past in terms of his playoff performance. Let's hope we get Cavaliers, Kyrie Irving, if you are the Dallas Mavericks, but going on to these other role players. So you have your two star players kind of solidified. Why does Christian Wood matter so much? It is because I don't trust the other players on this team. You're going to need a guy like Dwight Powell to really step up and play big minutes at the center position for you when Christian Wood not only is not in the lineup, but when Christian Wood is slid over to the power forward position. You have Reggie Bullock, who's going to play key minutes for you. I mean, he's getting above 30 minutes a game, and he shoots 40% from the field. That's really bad. That's below league average, but he shoots 38% from three, which is really good. It's above league average, and this is the issue. Same thing with Tim Hardaway Jr. He shoots 39% from the field and 38% from three. Again, a good three-point percentage, but the These role players on this team, these guys who are going to score for you, are so inconsistent on a night-to-night basis. You can't have these guys shooting 39-40% from the field because it is just way too inconsistent come playoff time. You're going to need a guy like Christian Wood who averages a lot of points per game on really good efficiency. You really need Christian Wood game in and game out to be that third best scorer on your team. You're even going to have to have him outperform Kyrie Irving in one or two games, in my opinion. Not if you want to win round one or round two, but if you want to win round three, if you want to win the NBA finals, in my opinion. Last guy I would like to mention here, I think he's worth a mention. It's Josh Green. He's a young guy. He basically has no playoff experience. Now, Tim Hardaway Jr., he's been solid in the playoffs. Reggie Bullock has been meh, but Josh Josh Green has not played in the playoffs yet. He's 22 years old, but he's really balled out as of recently, and he's going to be key for this team as well. Coming off the bench, he might even be inserted into a starting lineup. You never know. He shoots 53% from the field, 41% from three, 9.5 points per game. But again, guys, it's going to be Christian Wood. He's going to be the catalyst, not only for these role players, but for the Mavericks in general, because you have Luka Doncic. He's the captain. You have Kyrie Irving. You're going to need Christian Wood to really step up.